Now that you've brought another man in and say you can't, just tell us how that move came about. Um, he's a player that we played against in pre-season for Mainstam. Um, I had a long chat with uh, John still about him, what, what he could bring to us. Um, uh, he's not had much of a footballing career to a sense. He's been at uh, university in East London, playing play for Maidstone. Um, he got rave reviews last year, playing the conference side. did a lot of football league clubs after him. Um, and we've managed to get him in for the rest of the season. Uh, I think he'll bring us some energy, some power, some hunger um, to already to what we've already got. Is that the sort of drive you're looking for from a player like that, that has played at those lower levels, that will really want to stake their claim in this team? Yeah, in our team and move forward as well. I think um, we've seen that in the last few weeks, thinking our performances, Yamosa Gaffs, George Saunders, Will Wright at 23, who's still got an opportunity to move on if he performs. Um, and, and Liam Gordon's been excellent there as well. So I think we'd like to kind of have a younger element to our team than what we've had this season, which we've shown in the last probably six or seven games. On to tomorrow. We face Altrium. Tricky result against them earlier in the season. What have you taken away from that game that could potentially help us going into tomorrow? Nothing really. I think we're a different team to when we were there now. Um, I thought we played alright on the day. We were probably unfortunate to lose um, to a set piece. Uh, they've had a good season. They've, they, and at that stage as well, they were flying to be fair. So they were up in the, probably the top two or three when we played them. Um, I think we're a, we're a totally different animal now. And um, probably they are as well. I think they've, they've made some signings and lost some players as well. Um, but we're going to be focusing on ourselves um, as we always do we'll be prepared for altering what they throw up against us but we'll, we'll be ready to go and show what we're all about You mentioned after Tuesday night that you really want to see your team become that more, much more clinical in front of goal as a manager how do you go about that, getting that change is it preparing slightly differently or is it just your players taking their chances on the day it's a mixture probably I think you, sometimes you can overthink opportunities in the box or you've missed a couple that you might become a little bit tense I think you've got to own that yourself as a player to relax. You know, if you miss, your miss, just keep getting in there. I think the worrying thing for me as a manager would be if we weren't creating chances and we weren't having opportunities. I think we've had plenty and, you know, we're always up towards 12 to 15 chances a game, which is which is a lot. Um, so we've probably not scored as many goals as we would have liked to, of course, but um, I believe in the players that we've got in there, to be honest. And I've said this before to you and, you know, Paul McCallum, Angelo Balanta, Scott Wilson, Darren McQueen, Adrian Clifton, Joel Saunders, Miles Weston, they're all, they're all a goal threat, all of them. Um, and I believe they will score goals. And Sadie is available tomorrow. Can, can the fans expect to see him play a part? Sadie will definitely play a part tomorrow, yeah. I think, obviously, what we've got now, we've got eight or nine out um, at this current time for various reasons that are unavailable. So we'll have 16 players going, going into Oshkham tomorrow.